Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 90 on this side. At this here, we apply the power of logarithm when we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 9 equals to log 90 from here. The next step here, divide both sides by log 9. At this, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies that log 9 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 90 over log 9. Then here, we can rewrite 90 as 9 times 10, which implies all we have becomes x equals to log 9 times 10 over log 9. That is, this follows the law of logarithm where we have log a times b is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to log 9 plus log 10 over log 9. Then here, yeah, separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 9 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9. That is here, yeah, log 9 cancel each other. We have one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 9. Then, here yeah, also 10 can be written as 2 times 5. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9. That is, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. That is, from here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 square. Then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared, which implies here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes here and also here, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. Which also we can write as x equals to 1 plus 1 over log 2, 1 over 2, log 2 over log 3, then plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. Then here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, here we have x 
equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. Then we can bring this together as one fraction. This is 1 over 1. And we have x equals to the SCM here does 2. And here we have 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. That is the value of x here. We have 2 plus log 5 base 3 plus log 5 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equals to 90 on this side. Then from here, 9 can be written as 3 square, which is raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This equals to 90 on this side. Then here, this power multiplies. 2 here cancel each other. We have 3 raised to the power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. Then, is it equals to 90 on this side? That is, next step here, we apply the law of indices. What we have a is to power n plus n. This same thing as a is to power n times a is to power n. Then this becomes 3 square times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. This is equal to 90 on this side. In 3 square here, that's 9. Then times this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a is equals to b a. That this here we have 2, then times 5. This is equals to 90 from here. Then 2 times 5, 10. And 10 times 9, that's 90, equals to 90 from here. At this left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you in the next class, and bye for now.